DeepSeek just disrupted the AI industry. But can it really copy your writing style? And does it really write better than ChatGPT or Claude? By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which AI you should pick to write all your content. Might it be social media content? Might it be blog posts? Might it be whatever you need to write? I'm going to put all these three AIs on the grill. And we are going to assess three things. Number one, how good is each one of these AIs to help you come up with great title and hooks for your articles? Number two, which one brainstorm and gives you better ideas? And number three, which one actually writes better content. And before getting started, if you actually want to write better content faster with AI, no matter the model that you're using, be sure to check out my free course. It's the first link in the description. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first part of writing a piece is basically coming up with the title and with the promise that you're going to make the reader. So I'm simply going to paste this simple prompt right here. You're my blog post writing assistant. I'm writing an article for, for YouTubers, experts who want to grow their audience on YouTube. Help me brainstorm 10 titles on this topic, how to post daily videos on YouTube, right? So we're simply going to run this um, through uh, DeepSeek and then just look at the results. So out of the box, we get pretty interesting titles right here, right? So how to post daily without burning out. So it actually identified the problem of the audience or the problem of what posting daily YouTube videos lead to. And then how to consistently upload videos on YouTube, even with a, with a busy schedule. So this is basically talking about an objection. So all in all, like I really like these titles out of the box. So now let's just head over to ChatGPT and run the same prompt. As you can see right here, it's exact the same prompt. Let's just run it through ChatGPT and see what it comes up with. How to post daily on YouTube without running out of ideas. How to make daily videos in less time than you think. Why most people fail at daily YouTube videos and how to get how to get it right. It's also not that bad. So now let's just run the same on Claude and see what it comes up with. Claude is a little bit more creative with the sustainable daily upload system, how to how top YouTubers create content without burnout, the pro YouTubers guide to creating seven videos in one day, right? So it actually kind of goes the extra mile, but at the same time, it's a little, also a little bit more cryptic, right? It heavily sticks to this formula where you have, you know, from this to this, and then colon, blah, blah, blah. The daily upload framework, colon, how to YouTubers stay ahead of the algorithms. What I really like to hear about Claude, it, it actually comes up with different angles. So first of all, how top YouTubers create content without burnout, right? So this is kind of um, through the lens of the analysis of how others are actually using it, right? It actually went the extra mile by, say, by saying like, hey, I'm going to show you how to batch all your videos in one day. All right, so this is like, it's really more creative, but at the same time, it's still um, a little bit too cryptic. So as you can see, there's like no perfect AI for that, um, unless obviously you you train it with um, with specific examples or with things that you'd like. But uh, for the sake of this comparison, I'm simply going to stick to very simple prompts. So now that we have our title, um, let's just run through the second step of this comparison, which is going to be about uh, creating the outline. So I never use AI to outline my articles, but I know that some writers are. So let's just take a look at how the ideas that we can get out of these three AIs actually work out. So for that, we are simply going to pick uh, the same topic. So let's just pick the second one right here. So um, I'm going to, to change it a bit. So let's say the seven secrets to consistently to consistent daily uploads on YouTube, even with a busy schedule, right? So um, I'm simply going to start with a few ideas. So number one, batch recording the videos. And then the second could be find what's viral in your, in your niche and create your own uh, variation of it. So I have um, two points out of seven. Please brainstorm the five missing missing ideas I can use in my article. Okay, let's just run this right here. And for consistency, we are also going to run this through Claude, right? And we're also going to run that same prompt on ChatGPT. So while these are working for us, let's just go back to DeepSeek and actually look at like how good are the, are the ideas right here. So create a content calendar and stick to it. Well, if you are uploading daily, you actually don't need a content calendar, right? Um, 
So yeah, I'm not sure if this is actually a good tip right here. So for repurpose and recycle content, yeah, that, that could be, that could be a way to think about this. Leverage templates and workflows. Yes. But like, what are the templates? What are the workflows? Right? So streamline your workflow, outsource or delegate task. Yes. Focus on shorter, high impact content. Well, okay. Not bad. It's, there are some good elements here, right? But it still kind of remains kind of generic, generic ideas. So now let's just take a look at the cloud. What do we have right here? So create a call-in calendar pipeline. Well, it's exactly the same thing that just DeepSeek suggested, right? Streamline your production workflow, set up templates for editing thumbnails and descriptions. So we have the templates again, right? So leverage time-saving tools and automation. So this is quite interesting, right? So how can I actually use that automation? How can I perhaps use AI to actually do this? So this is kind of a novel idea right here. So build a minimal viable production system. Um, this is also, this is also a good one, right? Um, develop smart content repurposing strategies. So same idea that we got over there on DeepSeek, right? So turn one long video into multiple short form content. So yeah, you would need to assess if our strategy was about like, what exactly do we mean by daily? Do we mean creating daily long form videos, daily short form videos? So this might not work if we are simply going to, to want to publish daily long form videos. So yeah, still need a little bit of, um, of, of reassessing right here. Okay. I just had a word to chat GPT right here. So as you can see, we have templates for faster editing, repurposing, exactly the same thing, schedule videos in, in advance. So hmm, this is kind of a novel tip right here um, because um, yeah, no other AI actually mentioned that. So obviously what you do is you can actually batch things and then schedule them in advance. But if you actually look at my prompt right here, it's like batch recording the videos. So batch recording somehow goes with scheduling your videos in advance. So I'm not sure if this actually deserves its own point. Outsource the repetitive work. Instead of outsource, like I would also say kind of automate, right? And create a simple video formula. So as you can see, most of the ideas actually look the same. And this is why I'm never using AI to actually brainstorm ideas. But out of these, as you can see, um, we get more or less the same results across the board with the same prompts. And for me, all these three eyes or more or less the same. So now here comes the, here comes the final part. So once we actually have our full outline, now comes the question, which AI is actually going to sound like us? And for that, I'm simply going to take a few samples of my own style. And then I'm simply going to ask AI to basically write one section of the blog post so that we can actually assess which one writes the best. Okay. So what I've done right here is I've simply created, um, a simple text file with, um, three of my uh, articles right here on Substack. So I'm simply going to paste this. So as you can see, these all are, uh, basically writing samples and I'm simply going to paste is into, um, each one of our AI tools. So, okay. So please write the first section by mimicking this writing style. And now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to paste in all my articles, right? So what I'm going to do right here is I'm simply also going to tally the number of words. So please write the first section, roughly 250 words, batch recording the videos by making this writing style. So let's just paste this into each one of the AIs and just see which one actually will sound um, the closest to my writing voice. So as you can see, I've been posting daily YouTube videos since 2021. Most people think I'm some kind of content robot, but here's the truth. Some days I don't even look at my camera. My energy is low. My cre creativity feels trapped out. Or I'm just overwhelmed with life, but I still post. Why? Because that's the game I'm in. I've been creating content for, uh, for years and I've learned one thing. Consistency beats perfection every single time. Here's a stick wrap that keeps you going batch recording. Batch recording is the art of creating multiple videos in one sitting. Here's the key. You don't need to film everything perfectly. Some days I record 10 videos in one go and only make, and only seven make a cut. The other three, they're either scrapped or reworked later. Goal isn't perfection. It's progress, right? So you always see this kind of, this goal isn't perfection. It's progress. This is typically AI written stuff. So, um, what I don't like about this section is that it actually added some kind of intro right here which is going to be the intro of the piece. It's not go going to belong to that specific section. Basically the section actually would start right here. And if I actually look at this section, yeah, it's, 
it's okay. It's it's not bad, but it's not it's not perfect either. So in terms of chat GPT, let's just look at that. I used to think the YouTube videos I meant recording, editing, and uploading every single day. That was a fast track to burnout. The secret batch recording. So as you can see, we have a a more concise intro, which really matches more the uh, the samples that I actually gave it. Right. So I'm going to link to the to the articles that I've used as a sample down below, so you can actually analyze that. But yeah, as you can see, instead of filming one video at a time, I record multi multiple in one session. Some days I knock out three to five videos in one single afternoon. No daily hassle. Here's the real kicker, right? I'm not I'm not using like here's the real kicker. That's not how I'm, how I'm writing. The process is simple. Pick a recording day each week. So as you can see, like I really like this step by step right here. This is way better than what we had in in Deep Seek right here. So. Quit because they treat content like a daily grind. Batching flips the game. It makes daily uploads feed effortless. I like that. I liked it a little bit more. Um, let's just head over to Claude and see what, what Claude actually came up with. So here's something most people don't know about, about successful daily YouTubers. They're not actually filming every day. So this is interesting. I've been uploading daily content since 2023. And let me tell you the secrets. I only film twice a week. But my channel looks like I'm grinding 24-7. How? Because I've cracked the code of batch recording. Think about it. Setting up lighting, fixing your hair, getting like this, this sounds, this sounds way better. At least do you really want uh, to do it every single day? That's three and a half hours per week just in setup. Set up. Insane. Um, instead, once your setup is ready, record multiple videos in one go. Your lighting stays consistent. Your energy stays high. Your creative juices keep flowing. That's my exact process. Blog out Tuesday and Thursday is free. Like, do you see how, um, how more personal it is? Um, even though like everything here is almost everything is basically made up, but, um, you can then basically adjust this with, with your own information, right? If you are batching, let's say on one days, on three days, on, on, on two days, right? You can actually edit that. Um, or you can simply be more precise in your prompt, right? So that's it. Each session, I knock three to four videos back to back. Boom. I've got my week's content done in two days. Like this sounds way, way better and way more close to my writing style than DeepSeek and Chat GPT. So the clear winner right here in this comparison is our good old Claude. Um, it just mimics the writing style way better than um, DeepSeek and Chat GPT combined. What you've discovered in this video is really kind of the basic layer about how to write with AI. And if you actually want to write with AI faster without writing that crap that nobody wants to read, then you should definitely check out my free course in the description. It will show you more advanced, more ninja stuff kind of thing to actually write good content that people want to read and all this in a fraction of the time. So if this video was helpful, you know what you have to do. Cheers.